everyone as you're coming in. If you are looking for the Well Resourced Schools Community Conversation for Seattle Public Schools, you are in the right place. We are going to allow everyone to come in and get settled, and then we will be starting in just a few minutes. Again, welcome to Well Resourced Schools Online. This is our community conversation. We'll be with you in just a moment. Again, welcome to Well Resourced Schools and SPS Community Conversation. If that is the conversation that you are looking for, you are indeed in the right place. We're allowing everyone to come in through the waiting room and get settled. We will be starting in just a few minutes. Again, you are at Well Resourced Schools and SPS Community Conversation, our online conversation for Well Resourced Schools. to our community as you're coming in. We'll be starting in just about 30 seconds. Welcome to Well Resourced Schools, our SPS community conversation, our SPS online community conversation. About 30 seconds from start. Good evening, good evening. We are so glad that you are here. Again, you are in the right spot. If you are looking for SPS's Well-Resourced Community Conversation, you are in the right spot. Before we begin, we are going to offer a land acknowledgement and SPS acknowledges that we are on the ancestral lands and the traditional territories of the Puget Sound Coast Salish people want to allow a moment for that to sink in. With that, 
Thank you for joining us for this important conversation. I am Beverly Redmond, Chief of Staff for Seattle Public Schools, and very excited to be your host this evening. As I'm going through, I am going to pause because we do have some interpreters that are going to be with us, and I want to make sure that we are getting that entire conversation to everyone that happens to need it. As we're getting started, I do want to give a few shout outs to some folks who did um, incredibly heavy lifting to make sure that this night transpires and goes off successfully. So to our SPS TV team, our public affairs team, also our academics team, and the team from Zoom, we are very, very proud to have you working and staffing us this evening and making sure that our community receives the information and is able to give us feedback in return. You may also note for our extended audience that we are streaming this live on YouTube and they will be able to take advantage of the main session and see what's going on here. But when you go to breakout sessions, those will not be visible to the extended audience on YouTube. You may see some headers, some slides that are there to help us buffer during that time, but please stay with us because we will be coming back and forth into the main room. We also want to welcome any board members from SPS that may be attending. Their role, as has been throughout the entire Well Resource Schools conversation, is to be a listening ear. So if you have a member of our board that happens to be in your conversation tonight in your breakout rooms, you will understand that they are there to gather input to understand where you might be coming from this evening. Also want to welcome any members of our media that may be watching in attendance, and we want to thank them for allowing the community to come together to have that conversation. If there happen to be any questions, certainly feel free to contact us directly. We'll be happy to set up interviews, do handle any of your questions and provide you with any additional support. But as you are perhaps in our breakout rooms, that is a chance for you to see how things are going. But any questions that you have, we will answer those directly. Again, I want to note that we do have ASL interpreters with us tonight. You'll see them spotlighted on the screen throughout the meeting. They will also join breakout rooms as we go into our smaller group discussions. But if you're looking to select ASL as your interpretation, please check your meeting settings so that you can select that channel. And as always, if there is any moment, if at any moment you have a question for anyone in the audience, you can drop that in the chat. If you're having any difficulty moving around, we're here to help you. The chat, our teams are here to assist with that. We're hoping to have a culturally responsive, safe and welcoming conversation tonight. We want to engage you in a dynamic conversation. We want to hear from you. And that requires a little giving on all sides that we're going to listen to each other. We're absolutely going to be communicating thoughtfully and making room for the diverse voices of our community and respecting the opinions of others. Here's our agenda as you can see it on the screen for tonight. We are here to reimagine a school system a better school system in the face of some budget challenges. And we believe we can use this opportunity to be better, to become better at what we do. We believe that we can be stronger, safer, more equitable, so that every student, teacher, and family has access to what they need to succeed. Our goal is to evaluate how to create and pay for a just school system that puts every student on the path to success. It's a concept that we are calling well-resourced schools and we want your ideas on how to create and sustain them. You're gonna hear a little bit more about that from Dr. Torres who is spotlighted here on the screen with me and going to take us deeper into that facilitated conversation and we can't wait to hear from him. Our goal for this conversation tonight and overall again, is to gather your input in order to make SPS stronger, as well as to guide our decision-making on all major SPS initiatives. 
So let's talk about the timeline. Where are we? When we're thinking about timeline, we've communicated this throughout all of our well-resourced schools conversations, and it bears repeating tonight, and you'll see it on the screen, that there are no school consolidations and closures planned for this school year, for 23-24 that we are also going to use this time. You may have taken advantage of the survey that we had open. And also that we're here to give that feedback from these sessions and also from the survey over to our superintendent as he plans to deliver the next iteration of SPS schools, that plan for 24, 25 and beyond. And he will do so in November. That is the timeline at this point where we are. Also, want to emphasize that it's on your minds, and I'm sure there's some anxious moments as you're thinking about the future of our schools. Where is a list? Where are we? We're certainly taking all of this information in to begin making those decisions. However, there is not a predetermined list. We'll continue to repeat that until Dr. Jones is ready to release that plan. Not a predetermined list of consolidation that we're talking about developing that system of well-resourced schools and making sure that we have balanced budgets so that our students and our schools can continue to thrive for years to come. As many of you know, SPS, like many schools around the state, the nation, we're all sitting at a financial crossroads. I mentioned earlier that we have to evaluate how to pay for and reimagine our schools. That our goal is to make sure that we can ensure success for every student by developing that system of appropriately funded and well-resourced schools. That means we have to prepare our funding and use our funding judiciously, being responsible, strategic with the resources that we have available to us, and that we will offer a wide spectrum of resources and educational choices to students wherever they are, and that they will have access to the support and activities that they need and want. We look ahead to the next year and beyond as we're providing and as you're giving to us your input, that we want to create the safest schools and school neighborhoods possible. With that in mind, we're going to proceed and go into our facilitated conversation. And I would like to introduce Dr. Rocky Torres, Dr. Ricardo Torres. There you are, sir. Thank you so much, Beverly. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. So. This evening, we want to hear your ideas about a well-resourced school, what it should be, and we're primarily going to be working around three different topics. So those three topics are school buildings and learning spaces, academic and extracurricular programs, and support services and resources. Just a couple side notes, we want as many people to get a chance to speak as possible. So please be mindful of other people in your breakout room and keep your remarks, your remarks brief. Let's talk about the issues at hand, always remembering to be respectful and avoid specific issues or personal concerns. As you share, keep in mind what kinds of ideas will serve every student in addition to your own. Here's a little bit of a breakdown of how it's gonna work this evening. There will be a link to a note catcher shared in the chat for you to record your thinking prior to joining the breakout room. This is similar to the post-it notes used during our in-person sessions. You will soon be randomly placed in a breakout room. We do have breakout rooms for interpretation. If you need interpretation, once the breakout rooms have opened, open your meeting settings, click breakout rooms, and select your preferred language to move over to the interpretation room. You could also return to the main room for support. Each room will have an SPS staff member who will be a facilitator to support our conversations. After you have discussed your thoughts, please record suggestions and thoughts in the chat of your breakout room. Your facilitator will be downloading the chat to help record your ideas for our research team. So you're going to have the note catcher that you can submit. And if you have any additional ideas and you put them in the chat, those will get captured as well. If you have questions about meeting settings, you may rejoin the main room for support. As a side note for our facilitators, 
remember to save the chat. And for our participants, please remember to submit your note catcher. And with that, here we go with our first question and topic. Our first question and topic is about school buildings. The guiding question, the framing question is, what are your favorite things about your school building? What are your favorite things about our school buildings? There is a note catcher in the chat. Please take a few minutes now to fill that out. Once the time is complete, we're gonna say around three minutes, you will be put into a breakout room to engage in conversation on this. If you could please take some time now to think and complete your note catcher in the chat. Once again, if you're just joining us, there is a note catcher in the chat. We are in our first topic. Our first topic is around school buildings. Our framing question for this initial conversation is, what are your favorite things about your slash our school buildings? If you could take some time to complete the note catcher that's in the chat, we will be moving to breakout rooms shortly. Okay, we're gonna open up breakout rooms at this time. Facilitators, please remember to capture your chat at the end. And participants, please remember to submit your note catcher. We are going to move into breakouts at this time. So we're gonna engage in about 10 minutes of conversation and then we'll be back to share some themes. Recording stopped. returned. I didn't do anything. It just moved me back. Oh. I was just greeting my participants and it returned me. Uh, so you looks like you're still assigned to room six. So if you open up the breakout room button at the bottom and click join.
conversation of the evening. As a reminder, our first conversation was around school buildings. I want to take a moment just to share a couple of the themes we've been hearing from community on this specific topic. So some of the things we've heard most frequently that community members appreciate are clean, safe, well-maintained schools and grounds, particularly outdoor and natural spaces such as playgrounds, gardens, and fields, as well as natural indoor lighting and common spaces for students and families to gather and build community. If you could please be sure to submit your note catcher at this time for question number one, we're going to begin with topic two at this time. Our second question and topic is around resources and services. Our question is, how do we make resources and services at each school stronger? Once again, our second topic is resources and services. Our second question is, how do we make resources and services at each school stronger? Before you go to your breakout room for community discussion, please take a moment of quiet reflection on this question. In the meeting chat, you will find a link to an online note catcher form where you can record your thoughts. Please record your thoughts at this time. As a reminder, we are on our second topic of conversation for this evening. And the question is, how do we make resources and services at each school stronger? There is a note catcher in the chat to capture your thoughts and ideas on this. We'll be moving into breakout rooms shortly. Okay, we're going to open breakout rooms shortly to engage in community conversation. Recording stopped.
Recording in progress. Welcome back, everybody. As a reminder, our second conversation was around resources and services. So some of the themes that we've heard from community, um, the SPS community feels that we should strengthen services and resources at each school. We've heard frequently about the importance of funding full-time staff like counselors, nurses, and social workers at every school, providing mental health services in addition to tutoring and other academic supports to accelerate student learning. Community members also prioritized expanding key services such as special education, transportation, and before and after school care. And some have advocated for more equitable redistribution of PTA resources. If you could please be sure to submit your note catcher at this time, we're going to move into our third and final topic and conversation of the evening. Our last question is, what kinds of programs do you and or your student value most and why? What kinds of programs do you and or your student value most and why? Before you go to your breakout room for community discussion, please take a moment of quiet reflection on this question. In the meeting chat, you will find a link to an online form where you can record your thoughts. Once again, Final topic for the evening, what kinds of programs do you and your student value most and why? If you could please begin to complete your note catcher at this time. again, our final topic for the evening. What kinds of programs do you and your student value the most and why? Just under a minute before we move into breakout rooms.
Recording stopped.
Recording in progress. Hey, good evening. Welcome back. Thank you so much for engaging in our final conversation of the evening. Once again, our final topic was around school programming. Some of the themes that we've begun to, we've begun to hear from the community are things that the community members value most. We've heard most frequently so far about the importance of continuing investments in creative outlets like arts, music and drama, as well as K-12 athletics and sports programs. Community members also prioritized and valued project-based hands-on learning, collaborative learning communities, and expressed advocacy for STEM programs such as computer science and robotics, as well as educational experiences in programming, leading to diverse vocational and career pathways. If you could please be sure to submit your note catcher at this time, I'm going to turn it over to our Chief of Staff, Beverly Redmond, to close us out for the evening. Thank you so much, Dr. Torres, and thank you to everyone who has participated this evening as we are closing out our final question and coming to the end of this particular session. I do want to again shout out some very important people who have helped us make tonight indeed successful, our partners at Zoom, SPS TV, the, our Department of Technology Services, Public Affairs, specifically the communications team, also academics. There's so many people who have come alongside of all of these sessions, the five in-person sessions and now the two online sessions that we have held. And we thank you, thank you, thank you. And now to you, our community, our families, our staff members, our educators, we appreciate you taking part in these conversations, our community partners, media who has promoted and allow us uh, come alongside of us to help promote these particular sessions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We value, value greatly your input. I wanna go back and revisit what our timeline is and what we have said throughout all of the sessions so that we can continue to calibrate around our expectations that there are no school site consolidations and closures planned for the school year that we're in, 23-24. And there happens to be no determined school closure list at this time. Again, we're starting to coalesce around your input and coming forward with plans. However, that will take some time. And Dr. Jones has promised to come back to us based on all of the input from the surveys, the survey that closed on September 29th, as well as these sessions to give us a plan for 24, 25 and beyond in November, in November. So we will look for that from him. Now, with that, as you all are finishing out this week, we've come through the start of the school year to this particular point. I want you to continue to take care, continue to believe in our schools, continue to support each other, and we will be back to you with that final report out, that plan in November. So please, thank you again for indulging us with your time, your commitment to these sessions, the input, the feedback that you've given us, we want to continue to make this kind of conversation a standard across SPS. Thank you for all you've given us. Have a great, great evening. Continue to be safe.